How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Analyze It. I'm your host, GP, and today we are delving into Orwell. So Orwell is a game about surveillance and spying on people through social media and all different things. Uh, and, uh, other than that, I'm doing this blind. So let's check it out, see how it works, and uh, get started. Right now, we're at the beginning. We need to create a profile. Ooh, test phase. All right, so as always, we'll go with GP. What, can't capitalize? That's fine. Check picture. Okay. All these pictures look weird, but whatever. I'll go with that one. I got glasses. All right. Let's go. What? Oh, it's optional. Okay. But I wanted a fake one, but I guess I wanted a real one. Uh, I don't need to do that. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll work thoroughly to judge objectively. Okay. The nation. All right. Sure. Let's work for the nation. All right, we're in. Interesting. Okay, so far I don't control anything. Oh, she has a police record. Okay. Oh, that's messed up. You're online, good. Call me Semez. I will be your advisor on Orwell. Together we will form both the first and the last line of defense against terrorism. Okay. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances. Selected from thousands of applicants from across the globe. So lucky. Normally, congratulations would be in order, but as you can see from the footage, there has been an incident. Let's get started. Okay, I've activated the reader tool for you. Its purpose is storing bookmarks to online websites and documents for easy access and to highlight when there's new information to be investigated. First, I want you, I want you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, the National Beholder, will bring you up to speed, okay? 
All right, let's go to Reader. The headlines, okay. Feel free to browse the National Beholder. I've activated the Profiler. Okay, open the Unknown Person file once you're done. Okay. Bomb obliterates, yep. Yep. Five severely injured. Negotians. Oh, this is Trifolith. Okay, violent rights. A hundred gray shadows. All right, so let's read all this. I like all these fake uh, advertisements. <laughs> I like it's a real website. Got to get the realism in. Okay, so at 7.50 p.m., okay, sun was setting. Hmm. Three were dead. All right, place confirming this device was homemade. Cell phone signal. The first, saying the first three stanzas are the German folk song. So by having that, that means that this is a imagined world, but has some references. Okay, all right. What's this on the person? Okay, the profile holds. All known information on those we investigate. The file you have open is for our main suspect. Okay. The blue haired woman that the CCTV footage shows before the assault is no stranger to police. Take a look at the rest record. One moment. Oh, excuse me. Mm, my bad. Didn't mean to sneeze in the microphone. All right. All right, here we go, rest record. Highlighted elements on the record are pieces of data that are able to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. Makes sense. Hovering over data chunks will reveal their relevance to the case, any connections or information it may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into a profile and upload them to our servers. Okay. Photo. Let's see. She's charged with assault on a police officer. Suspects were on side after Officer Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. The protesters at the origin of the assault were forcibly removed. Suspect was found kneeling and weeping on the ground. When asked to lay on the ground with her hands behind her back, the suspect cooperated immediately. Hmm. So she was kneeling. All right. Uh, I wanted to look at the 
the uh, see if you can upload police officer, all that stuff, just in case. All right, let's see what's new. Let's see, was there more I'm supposed to get for this woman? Don't know anything about that. Personality, activities, aliases, accounts, contacts, physique. Okay, does it say anything about her physique? Oh, I didn't have the name, my bad. <laughs> Very good. Pictures and names are crucial information for Orwell to identify a person. Information and documents can only become a data chunk when it can clearly be assigned to a target person. Okay. And the reason for Miss Watergate's prior arrest that has just been unlocked, we will need this info to progress. Okay. No worries. Good. With the data you extracted from the police record, a new document can now be accessed. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you believe in coincidence? Okay. I do not. Find data revealing where she attacked the police officer and you will see what I mean. Make sure there's something else I can click on. All right, so. No, the new one. All right, is this woman a terrorist? Woman allegedly injured a police officer two weeks ago. Remains in custody. Trial scheduled for August. Super president, anti-government. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just noticed that this is Boston, almost like Boston. A little change in the name, but whatever. All right, so this is currently April. Let's see, 2016, so about a year ago, almost a year ago. All right, the case that keeps the media and the public guessing, who allegedly injured a police officer severely two weeks ago is being Held in police custody, a woman is accused of having hit the victim's head with a large brick all day. The incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza as part of a demonstration. Interesting. Let's give this model project a safety bill. Alright, so let's upload this. Exact same location of assault. Then she turns up there right before the explosion. Surely not a coincidence. As you know, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we're really dealing with. Makes sense. Police have not yet been able to connect the crime to the accused, who is an artist by profession. Okay. Up, oh, got something. Oh, yes. One who does street art by blowing memorials to pieces by chance. <laughs> Funny. Great, you have found another document. Before we go on, let's clarify your job and how it affects mine, shall we? You have extracted all the info I already knew about, Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going into this case blind. The Orwell Ethical Codex dictates that investigators, like yourself, are the only ones allowed to access the documents of target persons. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators. We will then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. You may hit disable on a data chunk do not want to pass on to Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress on the case. 
Interesting. All right, so our trial set mid August. Secretary of Security labeled the alleged perpetrator alongside the other writers, anti government terrorists. All right, what new thing we got? Okay. Portfolio. Okay. A colorful inhabitant of Wonderland. Mm-hmm. You can browse through them by clicking on the arrows on the left. Pictures below, see something you like. Dude. Oh, this cannot be undone. Interesting. The listener has now been activated. Mm-hmm. Tell me which picture you like. I'm going to make a fine art print. Ship it right away to your doorstep. Best thing for your charge. Yep. That beat was me. I was never sure about the title, though. The Businesswoman's Forgotten Daughter. That's interesting. This was actually meant to be a private piece, but oh well, I'm having a hard time keeping it to myself. Let's see if that will. Okay. It's nothing important. Let me put it in here so then that way I might do a psych profile. She's a daughter of entrepreneur. Okay. All right. Let's go to listener. Okay. Got nothing. What does this do? No. Fuse lies are hanging in the balance here. What if you pass me something I can identify as wrong so easily? You've got to be more careful next time around. I see what you're saying. She quit her day job. Maybe this will tell us what her day job used to be. Agreed. Oh, we got something. Oh, she knows this person. Can't seem to find my credit card. I assume you took it, right? You got me. I'm in the middle of buying all of Bonton with that platinum card I lifted from your desk. Can't stop me now. Let's see. Some wine for dinner. Okay, so this is like her boyfriend or husband. Day trunks will only appear for targeted persons to the relevant profiles. Okay. Yes, that is actually what's going to happen. Very serious business, Cassandra. Uh, I better get a lot of wine. Whatever, I guess I shouldn't pick up some of those party pills from Big Pharma, also known as my parents then. A 
Okay, so the only thing... Well, I mean... Okay. I see, by highlighting it, it gives me information. Mmm, getting more and more things. So this will... <laughs> uh, I didn't have to do that, though, with the fact that they were going out. Hmm. Because he only reads the fact that she stole it. But I'm actually reading what the chat is, so I didn't have to put that in there. Oh, well. All right, what other things can we read about her? Let's see. Orwell informs me you just encounter conflicted data chunks. Okay. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the others will be, become invalid immediately. I'd highly recommend that you clarify the context of the conflict before you proceed. Well, this is your decision. Okay. The case that had been at the center of the media attention for last month has finally come to the end. Cassandra W. has quitted the alleged assault against a police officer before the trial took place, with the case being closed due to lack of evidence. Okay. So, doo -doo -doo, that is under this. Previously arrested for assault on a police officer at Freedom Plaza. Okay, let's see what happens. Upload. A pity that the CCTV feed did not actually help. Maybe it will today. Oh, I see. The lack of evidence that was on it. Hmm. Meanwhile, the relatives of the victim expressed their disappointment on hearing the result of the lawsuit. They openly voiced their concerns that the wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome in her favor. The victim, a father of two sons, was rushed into hospital after the incident in mid-July, where he's still in an induced coma. I see. These people are blaming her for everything, but there's no, we don't know for sure. Okay, the products, Watergate Pharmaceuticals. Okay. So a lot of this I don't have to really read. I just hover over it until I see something. Okay, that's her father. Here we go. Now this is before she dyed her hair. It's a new portrait of her. Carrying the family tradition, Sabrina's daughter Cassandra will soon be joining the executive ranks. Her business acumen and unique flair 
write the next chapter for 85 year strong legacy. Let's upload that. <laughs> yep. I see. Okay. So this will update. Documents that you have already reviewed may be updated from time to time as events unfold. The reader will notify you when that happens. Okay. The National Beholder just published a new article. You may want to take a look, see if there's any new information available. Uh, crime rate continues to drop. Hmm. A safety bill. Mm, doesn't look like anything new here. Okay. This is okay. It's nothing new. All right, let's go back. This, I guess, is telling me that there's more I can click on. But let's go back to the company. All right, let's click on the jobs. I look for a CRO. So she's in a relationship with her. Oh, let's see here. The price of freedom is eternal vigilant. Okay. The previous job she mentioned she wanted to quit. Turn the background music up. Dang it, I wish I didn't disable that guy's credit card. All right. No chats. Actually, hold up. Can I click on anything about them? This is the job she quit. Being an artist and junior CEO seemed quite odd. She also mentioned she had quit a dull job, didn't she? Yeah, this is the job she had. She quit the job with her family. Interesting. Okay, so what does this tell me? Let's see. Headlines, jobs. Okay, so there's something here. Oh, she was junior CEO. She quit it. So now they're looking for one. Here it is. To replace the retired, formerly appointed predecessor. This is the job she quit. Okay. I get it now. All ties in. Hmm. Yeah.
Gotcha. She did change from being a CEO of a major pharmaceutical company that she was born into to be an artist. That is interesting. Didn't read about this. Anything here? No. Oh, what's this? A timeline. You're invited to tea inside the rabbit hole. Okay, somebody likes uh, Alice in Wonderland. There we go. Uh, into activism. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? She likes the targets painting. As I figured, Alice in Wonderland. So, in March, about a month ago, she quit the job. Jake, okay. Well, I already got me a lot of money, more than enough to pay up all my bills. Don't you worry about me. So she went from this, quit, dyed her hair blue, decided to become an artist. That is a big change. Could add that, but that would paint her in a more negative light. Related profiles update. There's a conflict with an unknown data chunk. Sandra. Okay. They were best friends. Okay. She put in that she's in a relationship with him. Hmm. This is the article I saw earlier. Okay, hold on. This is August. Okay, so I'm backtracking in her life. Wait, this is January 30th. Okay. January. Okay, this is August 2016. This year, this happened. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could add the portrait, okay. It's not a big deal.
Cassandra shall be known as, to the world as Cassarthus. Yeah, let's add that in just in case that she has a profile somewhere that has that name. It's always good to record every alias, then we can match data chunks to target persons whenever they are using them. Agreed. Interesting. Got invited. Hello. Uh-oh. Ah, it's about the bombing, okay. I mean, at this point, I don't think she did it, but we'll see how it goes. Goldfells accepted me. I thought desperately wanted to go to prove my worth to the cause. Whoops. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Here's the thing. I've got an important appointment tonight. It's surprisingly out of schedule and I can't postpone it. Appointment here, appointment there, appointment. Oh, it's just taking medicine. Yeah, yeah, I'll look it up. Okay, girl. Hmm, interesting. Well, well, well. We shall see what's up with this uh, Cassandra. All right, that's going to be it for Orwell for the actually first blind playthrough of Orwell. I'm actually intrigued by it, and I can see the ramifications that I don't have to upload everything. Uploading everything could pose some problems or change the outlook on how people perceive her, essentially, because I can make her out to look really, really bad, or... I could kind of make her out to be innocent all by the way you look at things. For example, the card thing. I didn't have to make it to where the card was declined. Oh, I didn't know he would do that, but it's a learning aspect. So we'll take a look and see. 
Yeah, she made a radical change, all right. But yeah, that'll be it for our first session of this. Thanks for coming out. Don't forget to like the video if you want to see more of this. Uh, I like the investigative part of it. It's pretty interesting. And uh, this is just the first chapter from uh, basically several chapters of the first game. But definitely don't forget to comment, subscribe, like the video, and don't forget that bell icon so you can see all the new information we'll have out. But I've been GP. This has been Analyze It. Thanks for delving deeper in this game with me, and we'll see you next time.